Hey everybody, Chief Meteorologist Brad Petovich here. Let's talk about the weekend weather coming in first. We'll get to the winter chances next week, maybe in another vlog, and I'll briefly mention it here. But we're going to focus on the weekend because we've got another batch of heavy rain heading to the Carolinas and possibly some strong storms to our southwest and for parts of the Carolinas. I'll explain more. So this is the severe weather outlook for Saturday. So let me emphasize Saturday here. You can see the risk for severe storms right here across the Mid-South. Um, again, a medium to higher risk, again, for those areas heading into a Saturday afternoon. Now, as we go into Sunday, this whole system is going to be shifting east, and you can see there is a low risk, which extends into the Carolinas. So you get the idea. This system is going to be moving in this direction. So for the western Carolinas, this storm is likely going to be weaker. The reason you see this uptick to the east is because potentially we could see storms re-intensify in the afternoon. I still think we could see a couple strong storms in parts of South Carolina, Eastern North Carolina. But for the Western Carolinas, because of the cold wedge that's moving in, it's likely going to save us. And I'll explain more on that in a minute. But that's the severe weather outlook. Let's talk about the flood risk as well. So this is the flash flood risk, the risk of seeing flash flooding. You can see, thankfully, some of the mountains have been taken out of the medium risk and it's been shifted back to the west. So the biggest concern for flooding is going to be back in this area up into West Virginia. So this is for Saturday. Um, I'll show you for Sunday that risk shifts into um, the Chesapeake and parts of Virginia, northern North Carolina. So you can see the, that's the risk of heavy rain. So we've got two things going on. Big system that's going to bring heavy rain and possibly some flash flooding. So let's break down the timing of all this this weekend. All right, so let's dive into the forecast. So obviously today, Valentine's Day, it's gorgeous. We've got high pressure to our northeast. That has given us some great, great weather. In fact, this area of high pressure right here is just wedging down the eastern facing slopes, setting the stage for a pretty chilly day. That's kind of a typical, we call this cold air damming. And so that's what's going on with that high pressure to the north. So as we go in through tonight, we will stay dry, but then we get closer to the overnight hours. Moisture starts to increase. So two things happen when moisture increases in this setup. It creates clouds, some of it evaporates, and it actually makes the air cooler. So this is the good old fashioned wedge setup. You see all the heavy rain that develops to our north and west. This is why there's that flash flood risk um, as we go into Saturday. As we get closer to tomorrow morning, this is around uh, 9 a.m. You could see as we look closer, most of this is just light rain, some of it heavy. A little bit of ice. There could be some ice, uh, uh, especially in those eastern facing slopes again. So don't be surprised if that happens. But that's, it's, Saturday's an ugly day. It's going to be that cold, miserable rain like we just had. So if you remember that, that what we had for two days this week. There's more of that on tap right there. That is just a miserable setup. Now, the, the downside, it's cold, it's miserable, it's wet. The upside is that could protect us from severe weather. And you'll see what happens here as we go through Saturday afternoon. There's going to be a pretty nasty line of storms developing back to the west. But the cold air and the rain from early on Saturday should establish a cold pool. We call it a wedge or cold air damming. Even though the rain moves out, it's still kind of drizzly, misty, and cloudy and very stable. So that line of storms moving through uh, areas of Tennessee down into Mississippi, Alabama, Louisiana, that's going to be overnight Saturday into Sunday morning. So this is 3 a.m. Sunday morning. You can see the line of storms, but here we've got cool temperatures and rain and clouds. So that helps us out. So as the front gets closer, you can see this is 7.30 in the morning, moves into the mountains. It loses some of its steam, which is exactly what we want to see because the atmosphere here is not going to be ripe or amped up for severe weather. There's a lot of wind energy, but there's no fuel, warm, humid air near the surface. That warm, humid air is likely gonna be down in here. That's where you saw that severe weather outlook for Sunday. So as it moves across our area, you can see the line of storms looks much weaker. Now, it doesn't mean there couldn't be some gusty winds and certainly some thunder and lightning, but we're not expecting anything severe right now in the Western Carolinas. As it moves to the east, there might be some heating because now we're getting close to noon there might be enough warm air that gets into the eastern part of the state. And remember, you won't be wedged in with the cold air like we are in the western Carolinas in the coastal plain and the low country. So there's more potential for these storms to get a little stronger as they push to the east. And then they move off the coast. And on the back side, yes, the cold air spills in and that will be snow. So if you're skiing this weekend, Saturday's kind of a messy you know, cold, wet, rainy day. But then we go into Sunday and we actually could see snow that will last into Monday. So let's talk about the totals. How much are we going to see? Let's quickly look at the amounts of rainfall. You see the heavy rain access is just to our west. That's where I expect it to be. Um, so we, we're kind of a little bit more safe, if you will, for the potential for flooding because it looks like it stays to the north and west. 
and for our area it looks to be light just because we've seen so much rain recently can't rule out some isolated flooding especially as that main line pushes through on sunday okay i promised briefly i would talk about the potential for wintry weather we're going to get into it right here so let me show you the outlook for next week so i showed this graphic quite a bit we show it on air this is basically the potential for what is uh you know 0.25 inches of liquid equivalent basically the chance of seeing two to three inches of snow or sleet again and that's the, that's the key part it's not just snow this could be snow or sleet or even ice it's just the liquid equivalent of that so you can see what's happened in the last 24 hours the risk for 30 to 50 percent chance of that happening has moved north of interstate 40 and for areas south it's around 10 to 30 percent for thursday but even on friday you can see that risk of of snow or ice or sleet is still 10 to 30 percent so it's still the signal is still there and that's the key part here we are you know now getting about five to six days out let's quickly look at the potential for one inch of snow um, this is always another great product to show you what's the probability of seeing one inch of snow um, if we look very carefully this is uh through next thursday morning you can see basically all the carolinas are either in a 20 30 40 50 percent range of seeing one inch of snow and this is from the european ensembles the gfs ensembles kind of very similar you can see north carolina most of it in the 20 to 40 percent range so again the signal is still there there's still the opportunity but i will emphasize this and please listen this does not mean it's going to be a big snowstorm it does not mean it's going to be all snow this is the probability of seeing wintry weather which is snow sleet ice and rain and oftentimes a combination of all four we rarely if ever get all snow so don't think just snow think wintry weather in general um, as we get close of course we've still got a long ways to go this would be next wednesday thursday time frame and we'll talk more about that but this weekend have a good weekend even though it's going to be wet and cold and it will be windy as we see that front move through on sunday